My name is Ronan Dugan. I work for Wildland on Glenfeshie Estate in the Cairngorms National Park in the Highlands of Scotland. I've been employed here at Glenfeshie Estate as a ranger, which is a little bit different from the traditional deer stalkers and gamekeepers that they've employed in the past. I grew up here in the Cairngorms National Park and for the, the last 10 years or so I've been doing a lot of travelling so it feels very satisfying now to come home and put something back into the local area. So every day is different for me. One day I might be out monitoring hen harriers, the next day I might be taking a group of guests out and sharing the positive conservation work that we're doing on the ground and then trying to show them some of the fantastic wildlife that we have here in Glenfeshie. We're very lucky to have an owner here at Glen Feshi, um, Anders Poulsen from Denmark, who is committed to the long-term investment in the infrastructure and the restoration of the natural habitats. It's almost like we've received a gift from Denmark, and I think future generations will benefit from that. One of the benefits of uh, restoring the landscape on such a large scale is that it's providing a resource for the future and that might be a, a healthier red deer population living within the restored environment. It could be that we're um, controlling the amount of carbon um, through the increase in forest and um, we could be reducing the flooding risks in the future by planting more trees and slowing down the water flow. A hundred years from now, I really hope to, to see a landscape enriched with the native wildlife that you know, we've almost lost. You know, some of the species like hen harriers and golden eagles, I really hope to see them breeding across most of the moorland in Scotland. I would also like to see more and more connected habitats, so more woodland going from one valley to another so that the wildlife can move or the folks can ride their mountain bike from one valley to another through the natural forest. I would also like to see more opportunities for the local community to get involved with the, the wildlife and the landscape and the, the management decisions on the land and I believe that will bring more connections to the outdoors and to nature if the local communities can have that opportunity to be involved. There seems to be gathering momentum behind the reintroduction of keystone species such as beaver and lynx and who knows it might well be a, a good thing. There's certainly plenty of habitat here already in Scotland so it could well be a good thing in the future to reintroduce these species. I feel very fortunate to live and work in such a spectacular area and it really is a, a dream job. I've got 70,000 acres on my doorstep here and every day is different for me and yeah, very, very lucky to live and work in such a, a special and spectacular area.